Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up SQLite with Visual Studios 2008. First thing you need to do is go to the SQLite website and click download. We're going to download uh, two things here. The source code, we want the amalgamation and also the pre-compiled command line program for Windows. With those downloaded, we're going to make a new project in Visual Studios. It's going to be a Win32 project call it SQL Light 3. Click OK. Next, and then choose Static Library and Uncheck Precompiled Header. Finish. Then we're going to browse to the project folder, and we're going to extract the source code, which is in the amalgamation, into that folder. Once that's done, return to the project we need to add some files. So add existing items. We want SQLite 3.c, .h, and SQLite 3 extension.h. We're going to add those, switch this over to release, and build. Once that's done being built, you'll notice we have in our project folder here a nice library. Uh, to set this up, I made a folder on my C drive for SQLite 3, and then I made three folders inside of that, bin, include, and lib. In include, I have another folder called SQLite 3 again, and in there I'm going to put the SQLite 3.h file that we used earlier. Then I go back into lib, and I get the new library that we just compiled. For bin, we're going to put the other SQLite file that we downloaded there. The reason why I do that is to make it easier for us when working with SQLite databases. Um, I add it to our environments, so control panel, system, advanced, we're going to go environment variables, and we're going to find the path here. And when we edit that, at the very end, just put, make sure there's a semicolon, and then put C drive SQLite 3 bin. That'll let us work with SQLite uh, from the command prompt. To set up SQLite uh, in Visual Studios, we do it just like any other library. We go to Tools, Options, Projects and Solutions, Visual C++ Directories. Here we're going to choose Include, we're going to add new folder line, and we're going to browse to our Include folder. Once that's done, do the same thing for Library, browse to our Library folder, press OK. Um, then, uh, if you're going to make an SQL Lite program, uh, this is all you need to do. I'm going to open up a project I already have set up here. Uh, you include SQLite 3 slash SQLite 3.h and there you go. A bunch of code for you. Um, in the project settings you are going to need to add the, uh, the lib file. So open up the properties, go to linker, input, and in, under additional dependencies at SQLite 3.lib. Uh, make sure you do that for debug and release if you plan on releasing under both. Um, press OK, and now you should be able to use SQLite uh, as you would anything else. To use SQLite 3 from a command prompt, uh, open up command here. I'm going to change to my root directory. And then all you need to do is call SQLite 3 and give it a file name doesn't matter what you name it. And then you've got a database that you can work with just like any other SQL database. So I want to uh, create a table, we'll call it test, and it'll have uh, id small int.
let's just leave it at that. And to end any particular query, just finish it off with a semicolon, hit enter, there you go. Now we want to insert into tests values. Uh, let's do five and hello world. And then show it. I'll just Five hello world. Um, there's a lot more things you can actually do with it. Read the documentation. It's really powerful, really good. Um, to exit, simply press dot exit, and then you can exit the command. Uh, Till next time.